Hey, YouTube! Oh, hee ho, hee ho! Chicken, chicken, a big ball! Like chickens, like to hatch your legs to eat them up, eat them up, poke a loaf. Chicken, bum, chicken, bum, chicken, bum, chum. I love some chunky. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Timmy Tube Network. Today, we have premiere tips. Okay, now, um, we did something for Valentine's Day that is a technique I've used over the years, and I thought it was worth sharing to you guys. Now, it is a premiere tip, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up that um, premiere um, that I, I was working on. So let's go here and we'll go over here, go here and to Valentine's day. And I'm going to show you some tips. Now, if you notice here, you'll see that, um, we have right here, we have the puppets. Let me bring this screen over so you can see what I'm seeing and make it a little smaller. Um, so you see I have right here, the first, the top layer is Timmy or, or Grandpa or Sarah. Um, but anyway, if I take those off, you will see these floating, see these floating hearts? Okay, and they just, uh, they just float around, you know, in the background, okay? And if you notice this layer here, um, this would be just the, um, the white hearts. You see that? That's the top layer of hearts. You see that? And if we click on the layer below that, it is the red hearts. Okay. So now all I did was I opened up Photoshop and these are the hearts. Now I made it twice the height of the actual video screen, just so I'd have room to scroll it. So there are all the hearts that I did and I also did exactly the same with the red hearts. So let's go ahead and open the red hearts. And you see, you see those hearts are the red ones. And that's also double the size of the video screen. Um, if you'll notice here, I'll go to image size and you'll see that it's 26 inches by 30 inches. Um, and the pixel height up here is actually just double the size, maybe more than double, but I just said double to make it easier. So you can see I did that. And that's that's so it gives a room to scroll over the screen. Okay. So let's go back to Premiere. All right. So in Premiere, I have these hearts moving. Okay. And you can see here, uh, let me click it back on. If you click, click the little eye icon over here, you can select layers and you can take off different layers uh, just the view of it so anyway you've got these layers and you can see that the white is actually moving faster and it's because of these two keyframes you go to the beginning of the frame okay go to the beginning and you scroll up the hearts all the way if you notice there that's the top of the hearts because there's nothing under it you see so if you put those i don't know somewhere around like this and then you'll see it scrolls down and over to a different area okay you see this this uh keyframe right here is a motion to move it to the left or to the right can't remember it's probably to the left but anyway and you go down here you will see can't see it on this screen up here but it's the end keyframe there it is you see it right here 
So if you wanted those to go faster, I think I didn't have the red hearts move in a different direction. Right. See, so here's the, here is the first frame where the red hearts start. Let me click the white hearts off so we can. And over here is where the red hearts end, right? You see here, this is where they end. See, they move up. They just scroll up. So if I was to move this on down, that actually changes, it changes the speed of the hearts moving. I, you know, I could go all the way down here. Now watch this. I'll click the white ones on. Now watch how fast the red hearts go compared to the white hearts. See how, how fast, how much faster they're going. And you can change all that up. I mean, you could even um, add some rotation. Put a rotation point here. Go down to this end keyframe and rotate it slightly. Now watch what it does. Now watch the red hearts do. You notice they're actually moving over and rotating a little bit. So you can control the background of anything you want. Imagine putting, let's say, the star of the show. You could do the same and put stars in the background. And, oh... I've got uh, footsteps sound effects in there, but uh, as I was saying is you could, um, if you had a star of the show and you wanted a background to show the star, or some kind of moving background, you can do these shapes all day long in Photoshop, bring them in here and rotate them, move them up, um, basically do anything you want to with them. Um, and it gives a, a background to any kind of image that you or video that you've created on green screen. Uh, of course, there's Grandpa. Um, he was shot on green screen. And I'll show you what it looks like. I'll go ahead and take the chroma key off. See, there's Grandpa on the green screen. Um, and, of course, I don't want it to be green. But I actually changed... Um, what he's on and made these little hearts so once again uh, back in Photoshop I just uh, went down here to the shape tool the custom shape tool and uh, let's let's put a star in there just so you can see I'll put a star right here so you can see now I'll save it go back to Premiere um, and you see that star there? See, <laughs> there's the star. And if you wanted to, you could have the star rotate on a center axis. So they're just kind of rotating in the background. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. But I've used this before. I used to work for a, uh, a pageant. And I would film these pageants that this lady had. And one year, I on a green screen... I interviewed some of the pageant contestants. Well, I was like, well, what am I going to do? So I did this technique and I put uh, the flag of the state flag of each contestant. And I just kind of had the state flag slowly moving in the background. You know, anything too fast, moving too fast in the background, um, it would take away, if you had it real fast in the background like this, it would take away and people's eyes would move towards the motion in the background. You don't want that. You want to be subtle. Let those things move slowly over the background. That way it's subtle and the people's attention goes to what's on top of it. And that in this case, it would be Mercedes. So let's just see what Mercedes has to say and whatnot <laughs> <laughs> and whatnot so anyway got that background slowly moving so my lesson today is the backgrounds the motion backgrounds that you can do um i really don't think there's anything else i can show you on this um i did down here on the bottom i'm going to zoom in 
but you can see right here at the bottom I did some footsteps you see right here is footsteps so when they come this is Timmy walking in and all I did was shake my hand to make him look like he's walking Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. so anyway guys hey guys as Timmy would say hey guys um, that is the motion backgrounds I mean it's fairly easy and it's something you can use uh, and you can play with too like with the speed of the of the hearts you can change that around too so don't forget about your keyframes up here spin them around or you know rotating them and stuff like that so that is that hope you enjoyed it Oh, ee-ho, ee-ho, chicka cheek in a big ball, like chickens, like to hatch them eggs, to eat them up, eat them up, boga lo, chicka chicka bum, chicka bum, chicka bum, chum, I love some chucky, I like beef chutney, beef chutney, beef, 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 beef chutney, beef, beef, beef chutney, beef, beef, beef chutney, beef, 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 be